just that's an amazing even the study abroad uh, experience in itself is complicated to do with the coaches and process but uh, the coaches wanted to make sure that we had nothing uh, nothing that we weren't able to experience that we were just in that way um, you know they're probably so second win and they're delivering this is Michigan's best recruiting class in, in 14 years what's that like being a part of that and coming in with all these these talented uh, players Oh, uh, you know, we, we've seen the rankings, um, four, five stars, three stars, it really doesn't matter once you get here, that's how you rank it's no longer trying to be the number one class in the country, we're trying to be the national championship, that's our focus. Um, we have a very young football team this year, with that being said, we will have a top five football team this year, we're just, you know, it's, it's the edge that we have, uh, our, our strength staff won't settle for anything less, our coaching staff won't settle for anything less. And uh, if you ask any one of our players who are winning the national championship, and I know it's said every year, um, but the, the drive of the school, the, 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 uh, the desire to be great, uh, to be remembered, to be the best player that you can be, really is, uh, it's swarming even. Um, you have no choice but to want to be great. Corey, no other school does anything like this on National Signing Day. So just now you've been through it, what's it like being a part of this, seeing all these great alumni come back to welcome you and your new teammates into the Michigan football family? Uh, I'd also like to point out that no other school in the country has Jim Harbaugh. Um, but the University of Michigan, they love football. They love football, they love their football players. Um, it's a, they're extremely passionate about the program and want to see, want to see the guys succeed. Um, and we're heading in that direction. We obviously got a long road ahead of us before we can call ourselves, you know, Alabama on the football field. But like, I feel like there's nothing that can stop us from getting there as long as we continue on the path along. We're working hard. No, we're not going to be outworked. There's no school in the country that's going to say that they outwork us. Um, you know, doing everything that we can. Obviously, a football, football is a game that's never completely in your hands, but the part that we can control is taking care of right now. And with, uh, I know the opener's in Dallas this year, so you guys have to wait a week longer for to play at the big house, but how excited are you now after seeing this today for it to be seven months from now and run out on the field for the home opener? For sure, for sure. I was blessed with the opportunity to play in the big house uh, as a high school. Our first, our first game of our senior season was against Highland Central there. Had a good game, four or five sacks. Um, that was in front of maybe two or three thousand people. Pulling up in the big house uh, for our home opener. I, mean, I guess the Dallas is a home game, I guess. But pulling up in the big house for the first time as a college student, as a college player, in front of 110,000. I can't even fathom, you know, we've, dream, we've dreamt about that moment uh, and continue to dream about that moment even today. So I'm um, just really, really looking forward to it, for the opportunity to show out in front of my family. You're kind of the ringleader on Twitter. Everybody's following you. You probably had more followers, Michigan followers, than anybody. Were you, did you kind of feel that way? You were trying to bring this class together? Uh, you know, it was never really about the followers or anything like that. We were just trying, I was aspiring to be um, a leader, obviously, in every aspect of life, but uh, trying to build a, build a class that I felt like we could win a championship with. And I feel like we got to that point. Not really, I'm not gonna, nobody made their, just their college decision based off of my videos or anything that I did. Um, that was all for fun for the recruits that we had, just for, um, for the coaching staff. They really enjoyed it, but you know, the university sells itself. Nothing that I can say is going to be able to uh, have a kid come to Michigan. Um, I just present facts, and people are building their own opinions, building their own ideas, and the guys that are here, are here for the football program, are here for the academic um, prestige, and are here for Coach Harbaugh. When did you know that Aubrey was in? Did you know earlier? I, I knew ahead of time. Okay. Of time. How far ahead of time? It, it was a little bit. Yeah. It was a little bit. You know, me and Aubrey have a really good relationship. Yeah. Um, really good guy. I'm excited that he's going to be a Wolverine. Uh, you know, I, I feel like he can be a future first round draft pick, you know, and coaching staff here would do a great job of developing him. You always worry about the late flip maybe with a guy like that, though? Uh, you know, there was... It was a complicated situation with Aubrey's recruitment, yep. um, but I was comfortable with him and where we stood with him. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I really felt that like we had a good chance with Najee too. Um, 
he just, you know, he, he felt like Bama was the best place for him, and I'm excited for him, I'm happy for him. Um, but I'm focused on the guys that are in this room now and the guys that we have coming in uh, the next few months. It's going to be a very strong class. Obviously, one of the strongest classes in the country, and uh, the biggest thing is we got guys that work hard, guys that are hungry uh, to be great. What do you think of this event, signing of the Stars? It was amazing. It's so crazy, uh, the things that this coaching staff will do just to give you everything that you can possibly have that maximize uh, what the NCAA allows us to have. Obviously, I don't know if there's another school in the country that does something like this, let alone, um, like, mo the majority of them definitely do not. So uh, that's just one of the things that stands out about Michigan the most for me is they're, uh, they're, they aspire to be the first uh, with everything, and they maximize what they can do. Thanks.